ready? I'm ready. You hype? I'm pretty freaking hype. Frit! Frit! Give me some frits. I can't- I can't do that noise! Yeah, you can. No, frit. I can't! I can't do it! You just roll your tongue off I the top of your mouth. I can't roll my tongue! Frit. I'm scared to try, because I can't. Welcome I'll to Digi and May. <laughs> <laughs> the only show that brings you maximum frit! And, uh, the silence. <laughs> this is Stardew Valley. How much- how much character can I put in this? Uh, I have no idea. Where the fuck is the Y? Uh, there. There it is. <laughs> they're in, uh, they're in QWERTY mode. I would just go with that. <laughs> so it doesn't take too long. You also I... have to have a farm name. You name your farm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I immediately thought penis farm. And of course you thought titty farm. <laughs> Excellent. Titty we're, farm. We're on the exact same page. <laughs> My favorite thing. <laughs> Oh boy. oh boy! Oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is my favorite thing. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> so this... oh, I could be a, I could be a femme. Oh, what? hell yeah! Okay, oh, you can femme. change your skin and hair. My color animal and shirt. preference: I can either be a slobber mongle or a pussy. I'm gonna be a pussy. <laughs> Oh, fuck. A slobber mongle. I don't think you can see it, the eye color, so I don't think this is relevant. Or it totally up to you. I don't. Oh, there's shit. like three um, whole sliders worth. Why for the eye, eye color? color, dude? I have brown eye, like a poop. Yeah. Can I make my girl black? Yeah, yeah probably. God. Go to skin color. I just want to make her black. No, I don't want to make her. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe blue. Purple. Oh hell yeah, the purple oh, one's whoa. great. Oh, she can be. Oh, she can, can be, be a blue. Slime. She can be a blue. She's gonna be a mermaid girl, cause I'm a mermaid. Yeah, May is currently dressed uh, in a mermaid blanket. Blue. She's a blue. So she a sparkling. Um, it's May May the mermaid. A sparkly blue oh, and shit. pink. Oh shit! You can change gradient. her hair. Oh, you can give her fucking pigtails. You can give her a bun. <laughs> oh my god, this game is the best. <laughs> Oh shit, I love this. It's like, this is great. This hair, this hair. So if anybody couldn't tell, May's the one playing the game this time. Why do you keep leaning forward like that? Because I'm, I'm trying to get a better look at Is the arm girl. blocking your view here? No, or? I just oh. want to look at her. Um, there we go, she has blue hair. We were talking about doing a show where May plays the game because um, I always end up with like this weird existential dread when we record Digi and May, where every time we're recording, I think it's going horribly because I'm so lost in the game that it makes me lost in the conversation. Oh, and always, she can she can be just like me and have pink pink mermaid like. I, I always feel like I'm not saying anything, and I, I'm like, oh no, I'm floundering. I don't know what I'm talking about. And then I listen to it back, and it's perfectly fine. Now I'll be the one who's floundering. Which yeah. isn't even which isn't even unusual. I don't feel like you will be as upset with yourself as I am. <laughs> you don't think so? Um, well, either that or you won't be more upset with yourself than normal. Because you're already yeah, upset yeah. with yourself. Even I don't think I can make myself more upset with myself. I just get I get stressed out oh, when oh, I God. feel like I'm floundering on the oh, show. You can give her an emo shirt. <laughs> like if you listen that is hilarious. Oh my god, there's like a Charlie Brown in there. One of them was like a floppy disk. I want the flop or the skeleton. The skeleton was pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of shirts. I was hoping that she had a mermaid top. <laughs> there's a lot of shirts. Oh, there's a heart. Oh, that's cute. She's an undertale. Is that facial hair? Yeah. Oh, she can be On like your me. girl? I can make her into me. <laughs> and this glass, I can't, I can't I, even tell. Oh, those are cute glasses. Oh, shit. What is this? Those ones. These ones? Yeah, I like that. It's like, okay. you look like very, uh, bookish anime girl. That's perfect. Yeah. What is this? So I get to select um, my farm? Oh, cool. Riverland farm because I'm a mermaid. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the canon of this game. Yes. Is that you are a mermaid. Um, oh, oh, it's green Santa. It's, I was going to say, it's fucking <laughs> Santa Claus. And for my very special granddaughter. Oh, shit, man. Is Grandma. he gonna bequeath you the farm? I think you have to press A. I'm hitting. Oh. I'm oh, hitting. Well, that works. Uh, I think I just skipped it. Do, 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 oh fuck! We have to sing the hippopotamus song. <laughs> we're on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You know our 
my this the Discord just watched Maya Wiga. The oh Digi my Bro god! And Discord, fucking they Maya did a podcast Wiga. about it. I have to listen to that. I it's haven't Maya listened to it yet, but I'm curious. It's pretty Mayo. It's <laughs> pretty Mayo. <laughs> it's almost Mayo, but not quite. Mayo. Not quite good enough to be Mayo, so it's Mayo. So yeah, we were talking about uh, having. You look fucking great. <laughs> Your character looks awesome. This bitch looks terrible, but you look Fuck great. Fuck you, Robin. You look like a normie. It's weird that she looks American, cause like this game is obviously stylized to look like Harvest Moon. And, like, the sprites look Japanese enough, but, like, her little okay. icon was super American-looking. Yeah. And this is an American game, so, like, that makes sense. This, this is Titty Farm! <laughs> this is, this is titty, titty Farm. farm. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Okay, yeah. Sanjay. <laughs> this shit, this place is a fucking clusterfuck. Your granddad left you this as punishment. Just like my grandma. <laughs> yep, is, just this like is your real. real life grandma. This is hitting me too hard. I know. But yeah, we so when we were deciding what game you would play, we had we had wanted to play a Harvest Moon game on the show for a while, because I've never played Harvest Moon, and uh, you grew up with the GameCube game. Yeah. Um, which one was that? What's it called? Melody something. Melody dildo. And, uh... Melodic dildo, that's it. Melodic dildo, the Harvest Moon game. Yeah, Harvest Moon 7. Melodic dildo. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I guess we tried to play the GameCube one and it didn't work one time. Yeah, it wouldn't work in the Wii. Because probably the disc has, uh, come on it. Yeah. And There's then, a 90% chance. And then the N64 one didn't work on the emulator either. Very rustic. So, we... We instead, I, I, I was uh, looking through games and I'd seen Stardew Valley oh, and I thought, crusty man, <laughs> rude. rude. <laughs> I That's love this cool. game. <laughs> um, Stardew Valley was in there and I was like, oh, this is like the relevant version of Harvest Moon. Um, <laughs> maybe people will want to watch us play this. Maybe you'll have fun playing. Oh, this. I'm already having fun. Because I, I always felt with this game, like, I'd rather play... Because Har I've never played Harvest Moon, so it feels weird to me to, like, jump into the new version before playing the games that everyone's loved for all these years, you know? They're all the same, though. I know, but, like... Harvest Moon... I also f don't like the aesthetic of this game as much as I like Harvest Moon's aesthetic. Yes. Although, I I like the, the colors. I like how bright and poppy it is. But uh, something about how, like, tall all the structures are and stuff and like the the characters i don't like and uh and the fact that you they kind of move like terraria characters yes which is grotesque yeah fucking grotesque but um but you know i figured i could watch somebody else play it yeah and i know this is a game that people have live streamed many hours of so, so. this saving screen is gonna be our friend yeah hi this has been saved <laughs> Hey, uh, my bed. You got control. Hell yeah. I got a present. Well, got an axe and a hoe. A hoe. You got hoes for days. Oh, yeah. You can't tell a hoe from a housewife. Hoes don't act don't, right. See them on a plane, what... baby. Hoes on a crack okay, pipe. Hey, ho, me. how you doing? Where you been? I'm probably doing hoe things because they you hoe again. You want to get into some topics? Oh, I don't want to throw that out. Yeah. Ah, I don't understand the controls. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Where are my topics? Oh, what's this? Here we go. Okay. Did you make? Oh, I just picked up a TV. Picked up a... Oh, what's, what's this? Um, Parsnip seeds. It looks like I already talked about most of my topics that I had written down. Yeah? Um... I have written down first five minutes of all, which I don't know... I don't remember exactly what the top like somebody had accused me of like just trying to consume the first five minutes of everything and how this was not a normal way of like consuming media um, and I thought it was funny but I don't remember what I wanted to say about it yeah so it's it's this is what happens when you write a topic down and then it takes like months before oh, you finally get to talk this looks gorgeous. come over here come over here. this mother. honestly looks beautiful I'm coming for you come down it's actually, uh, I would say the visuals of this look a lot like Secret of Mana. Yeah. Um, for the Super Nintendo. 
I can see that. The bus is out Calcio of Desert? Cal Mermaid. I think it's a calico. Calcio, calico. Like the cat. What's that explanation? I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. What does that mean? I think that's part of your... That's under the 500, right? Yeah, that's just Probably part just of the Probably just I'm poor as fuck. It's like, <laughs> alert, you're poor! <laughs> it's like my fucking Bank of America Have you tried Bank pressing all of the buttons app. yet? Oh, that's how you select. Oh. And that's how the screen goes away. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Only for us. I don't think that happened for the people watching. That was intriguing. Sometimes the game capture just cuts out. Alright. Um, but it doesn't- the capture Can doesn't cut out. The the, it just the TV oh, cuts shit, out. Oh shit, I did go in the trash. No, you watered the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I am not used to the PS4 controls at all. Yeah. Um, I don't know what is the equivalent of the B button and the A button. It would be the circle. Would be it's the locked. B oh, what time is it? It's not even open yet. They're in the same order they would normally be. No, shut like up. the same placement. I know. I don't- I don't play video games much, unless they're, like... You play League of Legends, which is with a mouse. Yeah, unless it involves clicking rapidly. Yeah. Sewer. Bitch, I gotta go down there. Yes. Oh no, I can't go see my family. We must return home. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, look, there's a little girl! Oh. Hi. Oh. oh, she's not that little. Oh, I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, May, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Mm -hmm. When was the last time we recorded a Let's Play? Like a week ago, I want to say. It was the last time we did Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah. That reminds me, I was going to talk about... I beat Hyperlight Drifter off camera. <laughs> Heads up! Yeah, we beat that yeah, game. In Moving case you were, were uh, unclear, we only did two videos, both of which were... Both of which not only were like randomly far in the game, but also I made no progress on camera. Like yes. all of the progress I made in that game was off camera. The two recordings we did was me running around Ohio. with no fucking idea what I was doing. And um, the second recording was particularly egregious. <laughs> and like immediately after we finished, I found out what to do. And it was like yeah. right under my, it was just like a door I had thought I'd gone through that I hadn't gone through. Mm -hmm. And it was that simple. Um, and I beat that game to 90 something percent completion. Um, at some point I got sick of it and just beat the final boss. Oh, I got sick of this dick so I can go in his bedroom. But I'll probably do a full review of the game on the two weeks review because I've got a lot to say about it. Fantastic. And Maybe I don't want to take up a whole Digi Bros with uh, reviewing that game. If anybody doesn't listen to my patron exclusive podcast, which is probably most of you, <laughs> um, there, for $15 a month, you get access to a weekly show, but it's two different shows that alternate back and forth. And on the two weeks review, I usually review all of the games that we play on Digi Bros or Digi and May. Yes. So, um, yeah, you should check that out if you want to hear, like, extensive reviews of all the games that I play on the show. Um, probably won't be reviewing Stardew Valley since I'm not playing it. Uh, and instead I'm playing Gotta wait Odin for Sphere. May reviews, which will happen, uh, never, probably. Nah, dog. You can review it. I can review it in, in this show. Let's Play. Yeah. Uh, this what's game, your review so far? This game gets a, a fin out of fin. <laughs> um. Join us. Thrive. <laughs> is that like... Oh, is, oh look at... Joja Mark. Some Morris. Hey. I know somebody named Morris. Hey. Um. Yeah. Make it a joyous experience. But yeah, the last. Oh look at it, it's me. The Hi. last recording we did was Hyperlight. Oh, I can buy a JoJo cola. In the time <gasps> since beating Hyperlight Drifter. What does it do? We did a let's play. We did a live stream where you played League of Legends. <laughs> And that was the last gaming. Yes, if ever. anybody could actually see how bad I was doing, because none of the comments like were talking about how poorly I was playing. Because so they literally couldn't yep, tell. Yep, I'm so grateful. I'm so yeah. grateful. Like the footage was almost well, it was totally unwatchable. I shouldn't say almost <laughs> unwatchable. It was completely unwatchable, um, which we didn't fully appreciate until we were well into recording it. Um, so yeah. I mean, I don't know how to do fucking gaming live streams, particularly with Open this? Broadcaster. 
I think the problem with Geo with OBS is that at some point I think I altered the settings for something I was doing, but like you basically have to have the right settings for whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to do that. So it's really hard to like match the settings to whatever we're currently working on. This guy is a fucking pimp. Yeah. Gunther. Gunther the pimp. So have you been up to anything interesting? Um, I mean, the last few days I've mostly been doing the finish or fail shit. Yeah. Where I watch tons and tons of shitty anime and uh, record my thoughts on them. <laughs> to the point, I mean, that's kind of... The funny thing about Digi and May content is that, um, you know, we can... We tend to record something almost every day. Like, yeah, usually. At, either every day or every other day, but like... You know, we can only do one. Mm -hmm. So it's like if one if we're doing another thing, it's gonna take away from the previous thing. So like for a while, for for pretty much all of September, every day we were either doing a Pokemon movie or a Let's Play. Yeah. And like we were pretty consistent for a long time doing Pokemon movie podcasts and then Let's Plays. Um, and I would release the Let's Plays on the off days in between the. Um, the uh scoring every show i finished videos mm -hmm. so that i had a video pretty much every day um but then for the last few days we've been doing finish or fail where we've been watching uh princess principle so oh like God, yes. basically <laughs> watching that show meant we weren't playing video games or doing pokemon films so it's like you know basically there could only be so... Even though there's, like... I feel like I have a lot of ideas for Digi and May proj projects. Yeah. We can only really run a couple at a time because they all take away from each other, you know? <laughs> um, and uh, people muscle. seem to really like the Digi and May do videos, so I want to keep them coming, you know? Yeah, um, for sure. But sometimes I don't exactly have thought about topics for the show yeah i mean it's definitely a difficult thing to just come up with yeah well it's one of those things where i i had a vague sense that now is a good time yeah we haven't done one in a while i'm sure yeah. but i didn't actually think about what we'd talk about on it so uh if it seems like um like i'm floundering even though i'm not playing the video game <laughs> It's because I haven't actually thought about what we're going to talk Inventory about. Inventory full. Oh, I should go donate some of this stuff. What is this? What is this crack of a Jew? Didn't we do? Oh my God, didn't we beautiful. do some fun shit the other day? I mean, we got high a lot. Oh yeah. This was a very high week. I feel like we smoked oh, weed three times in a in the span of a week. I think that happened. We did. Because it was like your last day off, and then, like. Two days ago and the day before that. And that's always a good time. Always. Oh, that's what it was. We got twisted. We got twisted. We got twisted. Totally twisted. Because we, we made, first of all, we made a miraculous discovery. We discovered probably one of the top five most important things we've learned since moving into this house. <laughs> that there is a bar, like, literally... Two minutes walk away. A foot away from our place. Yeah. Like, literally right on the outskirts of our, of our uh, apartment complex mm -hmm. is a bar and restaurant. And um, it's... As a restaurant, it's pretty upscale... So we had been afraid of going there. Yeah, like it's we like, figured the bar would be similar. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't know there was a bar in there. I think you. I, I knew heard. that they like had cocktails and stuff, but I didn't right. know like if it was a bar bar or if they just had alcohol. I had looked at their online menu, and they're presented as like a very small, intimate, expensive place, with, like a steakhouse kind mm -hmm. of thing. It's like most of their menu is like. $25 steaks, you know, maybe like a $20 chicken thing or something yeah. like that. You know, so, like, not super high end, but. But you wouldn't eat there every day. It's not no. like some place you just it's fucking It's definitely frequent. somewhere you go for like a date, you know? Um, Look at this cutie. Maybe maybe not quite like special event birthday level, oh, but definitely oh, date read level. This, read this. This oh, bitch is a. Damn. Oh. She is. She is fucking... Don't worry. I'm gonna fuck her. She's my waifu. <laughs> I got my eyes on the prize, guys. Yeah, I believe. I believe in you. Oh. Um, 
so anyway, yeah, we, we discovered that this place that we thought was, like, an expense... Because they had not only, like, the steak menu, but they also had a wine menu. And they had, like, all their prices for, like, bottles of wine and stuff. So I'm thinking mm-hmm. this is a wine and dine place. Um, but there's no bars that are in walking distance of us, which is a shame. Because, like, the nearest bars are, like, a little too far for Uber to be cheap and easy. Yeah. And, and we live in a area that's not really Uber accessible, so we definitely have yeah, to Yeah, Uber just came to, like, Ratcha-cha, and, so. and specifically, our house is a little out of the way. Mm-hmm. Like, just a tad. Just a tad out of the way for an Uber driver. And, um, and also, like, like, even the nearest one we could walk to, like, there's a bridge you have to cross that and has that no And that bar, like, is not everything. really our style. Right. They're, oh, yeah. Also, all the bars are, Yo, like, we should talk shit. about our bar experiences and, like, where we like to drink. Yeah. That's cool. Um, well, that's the thing. I've never been a bar person, and I- I've always wanted to, though. Yeah, I have like, never been much of one either, just because all my friends are, like, you know, a little younger than me, so right. I can never, like, go with friends. My my biggest problem with, uh, like, or the biggest advantage of a bar is that they have all the drinks. Mm-hmm. You can order some shit that you couldn't make at home. The, um, the actual biggest uh, advantage of a bar is people will buy you drinks if you're a cute girl. Well, yeah, <laughs> but you're with a guy now, yes. so yes. You're, you're not going to get the free drinks. I know. And I would never have that experience. Though you, I have conned drunk people into buying me <laughs> drinks because it's my birthday yeah and when it when i it, when it's my birthday i'm a monster who uh demands that everyone do everything i say and um on my 21st birthday and probably my 22nd i'm the guy who makes a big deal out of like hey everybody at the bar it's my birthday anybody want to buy me drinks for no reason people who don't know me just want to throw money at a birthday <laughs> guy and sometimes that works i can get a drink out of that yeah um by being an obnoxious twat but, um, oh, shit. that's what I meant by Terraria. <laughs> oh, snap. I'm Hell axing yeah. shit up. Y'all rapping. This yeah. is what I figured this game was gonna become. Yeah. I wonder if you have to sleep at night. Yeah, probably. I don't Do you know a... if there's, like, a hell... I think the energy bar is on the right. Yeah, it seems like it seems you haven't like... used any Yeah, because I haven't been I guess, working on yeah. the fields. I'm gonna be a night working farmer. Working on the motherfucking railroad. All the yeah. live long motherfucking day. I'm gonna get all day. this fiber. Fiber optic cables. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, bars. Uh, yeah, the advantage is that they got all the drinks, and the disadvantage is that they blast loud music and are usually full of people you don't like. Yes. Um, and it's usually music you don't like. For sure. The, the nearest bar to us that we, th- or the nearest one we thought was to us, was, like, we were gonna go in there one night, and, like, it was emanating with, like, shitty tear in your beer country music or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And we were just like, no. Nope, not, can't. not for us. It was really loud. Like, yeah. like, paralyzingly loud tear in your beer country. The thing, that bar is, like, populated by older people. Like, it's my, uh-huh. one of my mom's favorite bars. Not the one that we went to, the one right. that, uh, is, like, close to our place. It's in Sketchmart Plaza. Yeah. Yeah, my mom loves that bar. And I don't want to go to a place my mom loves. Yeah, and then there was, uh, there's been a couple bars we have gone to. There's one Irish pub that is actually pretty cool, but it's way the fuck across town. So, like, that was the one we we stumbled to drunk from the hotel. Because it was was right next to the hotel, the second hotel. Yeah, it's pretty close to where my parents live, too. Yeah, so. so, like... Um, the Irish pub was cool because we went there shit-faced one time. And then another time we went and had a few beers and stuff. But, like, it's just too far away for me to drive yeah, back can't... if we got drunk, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and then there's, uh, there was another one we went to that was all right, but they were also playing shitty country yeah. music. Other than that, they were great because they had, like, really cheap chicken wings and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. But, like... Yeah, but so so we had this one near our house, and we've been planning to go there for a while, because I was like, well, it's not quite a bar, but we could go there, have a nice meal, get shit-faced on wine, and stumble just home. Walk home. Um, but then uh, May looks at their, like, their fucking online menu or whatever, and it's like, oh, they they actually closed the kitchen at, like, 10. And we were like, well, if they're open till 2, and they closed the kitchen at 10, then that means there's a bar that we can go to. Yeah. So let's go check it out. 
So we walk up there, literally less than two minute walk from our from our fucking doorstep. Mm-hmm. And it is totally a bar. And it's a really tiny bar, like a little quaint bar. Everyone in there, because we go in at like probably midnight, and the people who are already there are shit faced. And yeah. uh, they definitely all know each other and the bartender. But like they're playing classic rock music, which is fine. I think we could both deal with classic yeah, rock. Yeah, it was. It's it a was hell tolerable. of a lot better than country, oh, country or just pop kills, music. Country does not make me want to drink and have a good time. No. It just makes me want to like leave. Yeah, it makes me want to kill myself. Yeah. Um, which is what it actually does to the people who like country, because there's a lot of statistics that um the suicide rate is much higher in places where country music is popular, because it makes you want to kill yourself. Yep. That is the nature of the fucking music. Which is just hilarious. I mean, most of the songs are about killing yourself, too. <laughs> um, like, the theme of most country music is, uh, like, my man cheated on me, now I'm gonna kill myself. Um, unless it's, like, the upbeat uh, fucking lifestyle country music that I fucking can't stand. Because it's, it's the same song over and over again. Um, and if you don't know anything about that, listen to the Bo Burnham uh, country music Am I supposed song. to be able to, like, fucking mine in here? What is this? I don't know. Uh, you'll probably have something in here later. There's probably, probably, like, something you can plant that needs to be in, like, a... Maybe you can do alcohol in there or something. Make a distillery. <laughs> That'd be fucking cool, man. Man, this place is fucked. Um, but yeah, uh... So, yeah, it was a, it was a nice little quaint bar playing, uh, classic rock. And, uh, we got real drunk. And that was a lot of fun. At first it was really awkward. Yeah. Because, like, we're just kind of sitting there, and the music's too loud to really have a conversation without yelling, and we're not mm-hmm. drunk enough to start yelling yet. Which, once we were drunk enough to start yelling, we were able yeah, to have conversations. Yeah, it was It was a good time. time. Um, but at first, we were just sitting there kind of like, well, uh, we're the youngest people here, and there's not enough... The, the, it's not like a party's going on here. These yeah. guys are all just kind of drunk. It seemed like they were celebrating something. Um, I think it was the lady and the guy's anniversary or something yeah probably it was definitely like a friendly get together kind of mm-hmm. thing um and they all like knew who the bartender was so yeah. they had probably like lived in our uh, our complex and once once they cleared out then the bartender kind of got chatty with us it was like hey who are you guys i'm th- i'm the this lady the barkeep, you guys live around up. here and then uh but the cool part was a that, you know, we got some cool drinks, and we got pretty sh- pretty sloshed, I would say. You I don't, had her I don't know, make shit you a blue phase. motherfucker. I had her make me a blue motherfucker, which I've wanted to try since, like, years ago when I first yeah. had it at BronyCon. Um, when fucking FNGR ordered one for me. <laughs> <coughs> which apparently she knew as a blue whale, which is a much easier thing to order. Because I've been afraid to order a blue motherfucker. Because, because it's called fact, a blue motherfucker. Yeah, and because <laughs> when he, like, when I had it before, FNGR had ordered it and they didn't know what it was. And he had had to explain it to them. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was under the impression this is not a common drink no. that people know. Yeah. So I've been embarrassed to ask somebody for a blue motherfucker and them not know what it is. Uh, but once I showed her the recipe, because I looked it up on Google, then she said, oh, that's a blue whale. And I was like, oh, thank God, I can ask for a blue whale instead. Yeah. Uh, and then tell my friends it's a blue motherfucker. Um, and, but anyways, so we got we got a little, we got a little uh, drunk, and it was actually really cheap. Like, the alcohol was shockingly yeah, inexpensive. Yeah, you were expecting it to be like, uh, you're going to spend your whole paycheck. Yeah. At this no, I mean fancy. we had we had four drinks for twenty five bucks, yeah, which is pretty, good. pretty yeah. fucking good for cocktail drinks. Uh, two rum and cokes, a Long Island iced tea, and a blue motherfucker for twenty five bucks is not bad at all. And um, and then yeah, we were we were pretty drunk oh, what time is it? and feeling yeah. alive. And then we came home and followed that shit up with some fucking four twenty friendly <laughs> and. Uh, it was really intense. Yes. Getting twisted. I hadn't like done that in a long time. That was the first time I ever got high, which I've told everybody was an insanely intense experience. Mm-hmm. I had done it that way. And I'd been told that that was like part of why, but since I've had mega big highs other times just from smoking too much weed, yeah. I, I didn't think that would happen. Cause we didn't smoke much. No. We, we had like a, like a couple one puffs. bowl and then we were like, 
obliterated, like seeing other universes and shit. And it's in this state of mind that Jesse posted his video, The Plebe <laughs> and the Weeb, with a question mark on Furnace Room. And it was the most intense experience I've had in a long time. Like, that video was mind breaking um, on a lot of levels. Like, yeah. it was. It was both the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Like, we were laughing to the point of dying. Um, I, it was, I literally was, like, It was unable. terrifying. We had to take multiple breaks. Yeah, like, five minutes in, May, like, has to get up and leave the room because it's terrifying. I couldn't take it. Um, and then it's also deeply emotional because I can, I can remember the situation so vividly, mm -hmm. and I can see in my face... That I want to be dead. Like, in that video, if you watch me in that video, I want to be dead in that yeah. video. And it's this weird combination of me, like, s clearly being really annoyed at what Jesse is doing, but also just kind of playing into it because I know I can't stop it, yeah. you know? So, like, I'm just kind of joining him on the meme but like there was no reason for like to have that footage you know mm -hmm. like other jesse of course made use of it but like we weren't recording like victor just happened to turn the camera on but we had just been testing the shot yeah you know and he's just doing this insanity um and i just wanted it to be over with because i was sick of doing the plebe and the weave and i wanted it to be over um, and we just watched two whole movies, and Jesse's like, let's just do this. And I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, um, boy. So, yes, the combination of all of that made it one of the... I, I literally described it as a religious experience. Like, particularly because the last, like, five minutes of the video is just the Highlander theme with clips from the movie. And the Highlander theme is fucking epic. And it goes through, like, all these different phases, and it's this really weird song, and man, I just, it was a, it was a fucking lot. It was definitely a lot. You gotta, you gotta get it when, uh, when he's in the yellow. I don't know what this is. When he's, when he's in the yellow, you hit A. I, I, I hit A? Dude, Probably. This is weird. Get, get him in the real, real, uh, real your line. Which way? Uh, the other way, I guess. It doesn't work. Uh, just hit cancel, I think. Wait, wait, get him, get him. <laughs> Maybe you have to keep him in the yellow? I don't know, dude. This is the weirdest shit. Oh, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you move this thing. Okay, keep him in the yellow, and that makes that bar on the right go up when he's in the yellow. So you want to hold the yellow over him, if you can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's like... You just make it go up the and square, down. Squ holding square makes it go up, and tapping it makes it go down, I think. Interesting. Or you tap it slowly to make it not like you. You tap it to keep it in place. There you go. You're getting it. This you want to. You want to hold the it over the fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. You almost got him. Yeah, you got him. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> that is a really weird system. That was the weirdest thing. I felt like <laughs> Monkey Jones in fucking Moemon. Oh That's yeah. That's where I gave up on Moemon. Was his fishing shit. I don't. I didn't I watch gave that up. far. Oh motherfucker! I got a herring. Why was this Pretty sure I eat a hair. Was, was like a weird fishing method in Moemon? He was... No. He just couldn't... He didn't understand why he wasn't getting fish. I see. And it's just because you don't always get a fish when you put your fish in the, in the pool. And he was like getting really mad. And then he had sheep over come over and like do it for him. <laughs> and uh... Can I sell him my fucking shit? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I didn't make but, it far uh, enough the bullet. But... Yeah. That's where I... I gave up. <clears throat> um... Yeah, so we got twisted. We watched that video. It was religious. <laughs> it was powerful. Um, I don't remember what we did after that. Uh, Probably just watched memes. Was that where we watched like Frank Jeff C all night, or was that the night before? That was what? the night before. Was it? Yeah. What did we do after we watched the fucking thing? Um, was that when we watched Wizard People, Dear Readers, or was that the same night as the Frank Jeff C? It has to be the same night as Frank Jeff C. That's what happens when you get high two nights in a row. I they don't remember. They all, other. they literally Hit. all. Um, yeah, like we, we spent one night like just straight up watching Frank Jeff C. I, I gotta tell you guys, my appreciation for memes has increased a thousandfold since we started smoking yes. pot. 
Like, I've never been a memes mean guy. Memes can tru- never truly be understood unless you are fucking high. Well, that's, that can't be true, because, like, Fantano's not a smoker, which is weird no when way. you watch his videos. No way, I don't believe you. He's not a smoker. So Frank Jeff C is, and you can tell. Yeah. Like, Frank Jeff C's video. Now, I do I think, I think that Vapor Rub Boy might be a smoker, the guy who edits the, the meme review. Oh, yeah. Um, because the early meme reviews aren't nearly as intense. Like, like Fantano, I think, just appreciates memes in general. Personally, I've never found memes all that funny. Um, yeah. And the meme review, but like, originally, I enjoyed it just as, like, this weird, ironic thing where he's, like, legitimately reviewing a meme. But eventually, he started having this dude, Vapor Rub Boy, edit them. And Vapor Rub Boy turns them into these insane nightmares that, like, when you watch it sober, it's just kind of like, well, this is, like, a bunch of weird shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't get it. When you watch it high, the videos are so long and involving and, like, multiphasic that it feels like you're living another life, you know? Like, they go, they just feel so deep and intense. There's the one where, like, um, where he ends up on the floor and he's, like, talking about hating everyone in the world. And mm-hmm. it was, like, I felt a really deep connection with that video. Um, like, an unbelievable level of, like, emotional depth from just a bunch of bullshit. Uh, because I was so high. And, like, Frank Jeff C's stuff, all of it is, like, I mean, Frank Jeff C's high 24-7. And I think yeah. it comes through in his work. Like, he'll throw in lots of clips that are just very dense like he'll he'll put in you know images of clouds moving in like a really erratic pattern or like the ocean Mm -hmm. you know over like this detailed very clean production with like tons of different noise in it and it's just like it's ecstasy to watch that shit high you know yeah not to say that any of it's not fun sober it's just a different level it's just that that feeling of like Oh, you know that you get when you're when you see when fucking the um the Ralph's remix cuts in and it's like when you come first yeah and then and you're just like oh it melts melts all of your insides out whoa 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 this is like a Game Boy game. Like shoot kill, kill that guy. What do you do? There you, you go. Shoot him. Uh, shoot. Oh god, there's a lot. Can you only shoot down? I have no idea. Uh, looks like R and L both do something. You can only shoot down. What does the L button do? You can literally only shoot down. Oh, well, I guess stay up. This is difficult. Oh fuck. Um. Unless this lets you shoot in other ways. No. Uh, anyway. Oh my god. That was our experience. <laughs> First getting high and then twisted. I really don't remember what we did after the Plebe and the Weeb video. Uh, probably unspeakable things. Yeah. Probably some unholy, unholy ground. You probably summoned some demons to walk the earth. How do I get out of this? I don't- oh. Hey, you just shot oh, up. Oh, you just had to- okay, I get it now. This game is very strange. What do you have to do to shoot other directions? Just hit the the buttons in the right direction, the corresponding directions. I like see. The... Oh, so it's like a twin yes. stick shooter. Yes. Okay. Um, you're still playing it though. Yeah, because I want to be good at it. I want to <laughs> be a good boy. Uh, 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 um, um, uh, what else have we done lately? We've gone. We've been trying to stay sane, I think. Aside from today, we went to a sushi bar. We did. Uh, that had some very interesting sushis. It's a place called California Rollin' Two, which is not, in fact, a PS One game that nobody remembers, oh, but a sushi really... restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we went there because I wanted to try. Like, I've been reading this manga called Not Love, But Delicious Food Make Me So Happy. Well, we were originally going to go out to eat with my sister and her boyfriend. But but even before that, I planned to go out to eat tonight. Yes, yes. Like, because of this manga, which is about this manga, it's it's a self... 
a um an autobiography about this manga author going to eat at all kinds of nice restaurants because she's a foodie. And uh, reading it has made me want to go out to eat to a nice restaurant. So I was already planning that today. Yeah. And then you messaged me like, oh, we're going to go out with my sister and go to Mexican food. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But then that fell through. So uh, instead, I was like, let's find, I want to eat Japanese food. And I particularly want to see if we can find somewhere that has eel. Because yeah. I haven't been able to find eel anywhere here. We've been to a couple Japanese places, but they were more like, uh, you know, regular sushi stuff. Yeah, they just had smaller menus, I yeah. guess. And this place had a huge... You looked it up online, and they had, like, a giant Yeah, menu. I couldn't go through their whole menu, because there was just too much shit on um, it. So we went there, and, like, their menu was oh, so God. big, because I would describe them Baby as... Baby is Pam. She is a hideous the ultimate woman. waifu. I would describe them as an everything but the kitchen sink kind of restaurant. Yes. Like, they have no control. There's no yeah. self-control Which... at California Rollin' 2. You it's know, uh that's not always a good it's never a good thing. No. No. Well, I mean, not to say that it was bad, but like <laughs> They took a lot of creative Their liberties. menu is not only huge, but everything on it has a thousand things mm-hmm. in it. Like nothing is simple except for if you get the nigiri rolls, which is just like, you know, meat on on yeah. on rice. But like they have just tons and tons of weird sushis and it's definitely not Japanese. Like no, no. I mean, there was no Asian people I mean, even working. For there. what it's worth, it's called California Rollin. Yes. So it's a California style sushi place. But like, yeah, it's it's run by white people and they've got some stuff such as the Baconator roll, uh, which is a baconator in a sushi roll. And they've got a lot of shit like that. Yes. Like all these like weird bacon like there was a lot of bacon on the menu for a sushi place. Mm-hmm. Um I don't think they eat much bacon in Japan. No. Uh they just had all kinds of shit, like every kind of weird sushi roll um that you could imagine. And then they had like bowls, but like when normally when I go to a Japanese place, they'll they'll offer a bowl that like it'll say uh, you know, a don a don booty or a don bowl. And mm-hmm. it'll be like, this one's got beef and onions on rice. And you order it, and it's beef and onions on rice. Yep. And that's it. It's very and straightforward. Granted, I'm usually disappointed in those because they're overpriced. Because the whole point of a don bowl in Japan is that it's cheap and easy. Uh, mm-hmm. But American places will charge you $15 for something that should be like $5. Yeah. Nonetheless... They taste good. This place's bowls are like 12 things in a bowl. It'll be like lobster and uh, crab cakes and bacon and corn. The weirdest and, thing like, about everything the menu else. there was like it, like it had burritos and like a lot of southwestern kind yeah. of like things mixed of sushi. Yeah, they, they also had a bar menu that was just American food. Yeah. Like hot dogs and, like, you know, regular stuff. Um, but, yeah, they had they, there was just so much American stuff mixed into the sushi that made it very strange. Yeah. Um, but, and then the sushi you ordered was, like, supposed to have white fish or whatever. And sh- or wh- I was supposed to have yellowtail, but yellow they didn't tail. have yellowtail. So she, like, was like, oh, well, I have another fish. I can substitute that in. I was yeah. like, uh... Doesn't that just make it another I, sushi? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I was kind of concerned. I'm like, should I really just be willy nilly just, like, messing with raw fish that I don't know what it is? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> like, she seems to think it'll taste fine. I don't know it, it, it was, sushi. It was fine. Yeah, it, it tasted fine. like sushi. It was um, good. But most importantly, they had eel. Yeah. And uh, they had eel nigiri, um, so, you know, just eel on rice, and ordinarily it would be like six twenty five, but it happened that they there it was Monday and they had two specials. One is that nigiri is like a dollar twenty five. Mm-hmm. So I immediately was like, Oh, I'm getting nigiri, you know. And uh and then also appetizers were half off. So we went all in, yeah. we got an appetizer, we got nigiri, we got the we got a sushi roll each, we were like, Hell yeah. Um and the eel nigiri was fantastic. It was all the eel I could ever want eel to be. I love eel. I'm a huge eel. If 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 that didn't come through in this story yet, <laughs> like why I'm going out of my way to find eel, it's because I fucking love eel. Yes. Um, but then I got there's only one sushi that had eel in it, and as soon as I spotted it, I ordered it immediately. 
which was a big <laughs> mistake because I didn't read what's on it. It has fucking cream cheese in it. Sour cream. Yeah. Sour nasty. cream, not cream cheese. It's whatever. They're or both was it cream gross. cheese? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like sour cream or cream cheese. I like cream cheese. You don't like cream cheese? You eat it on your bagels all the time. Oh, okay. Then That's it wasn't cream, cream cheese. cheese. Sour cream is the one you don't like. Yeah. Which neither of us like. Nobody likes kind of sour cream. A lot, most people do. I, people look at me like I'm weird for not liking sour cream. What are your opinions on sour cream chips? Uh, sour cream and onion? Yeah. Those are fine. Those, they're fine, but like, I mean, I just, I'm okay with a regular chip. I, I'm not super into it. Sour cream and onion, I will eat a bag of sour cream and onion chips. Sour they, cream they itself? They make sour cream itself? What do people put sour cream? It's on everything. It's on every Mexican dish. Oh. That white cream oh, okay. that that's on literally everything. Do you just not know what sour cream is? I know. It's, I just thought it was the... Okay, I know what sour cream is. Cream yeah. cheese and sour cream. I was getting confused. They're very different. I was mixing different. them up. Cream cheese is on okay. bagels exclusively. Okay, the I'm cream sorry. Cream cheese I exists haven't, solely for bagels. I haven't gotten enough sleep. Sour cream is the gross sour shit that's on all your Mexican food. It's basically and Greek just take food. the take the spice away. I thought I thought that's if you like put too much spice on, you just put some sour cream on it, and it kind of neutralizes I, it. I have no idea. I, I all know. I know is that sour cream, literally, I gag on it. Like I despise it. It's probably my least favorite taste in the whole world. Yeah. Um, I cannot eat sour cream, right. and I like. I'm not just like in a, you know, there's lots of stuff that I'll eat it and I'll go, oh, that's gross. You know, I don't want to eat that mm-hmm. again. Sour cream, I will like throw up if I eat it. Like it's like a gut, like a guttural gross, almost like an allergic reaction, you know, like I can't do it. I can't stuff it down. However, this roll has sour cream and eel. So it's my favorite taste and my yeah, least, least favorite, favorite taste in one roll. And, uh, I mean, the sour cream wasn't so overpowering as to be disgusting, but it definitely had me like, oh, no, you know. Yeah. And I was trying to, like, pull the eel out of there, because I couldn't even taste the eel in the mix. There was too much shit in there, you know? This place just overloads all their stuff. Um, and it was only as we were leaving that you pointed out that their bowls, you can make a custom bowl, and they could probably make me an eel bowl. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta try <laughs> that. I gotta see if they'll do that for me next time we go. Um... I want to eat one of their weird, like, Mexican-Japanese combo things next yeah. time I go. I'm very weird curious. weird burrito things. Yes. We also had, um, the, the, the appetizer was pretty good. Oh, yeah, was it was, like, scallions. scallops. Scallops? Is it, is was it scallops it scallion? or scallions? I don't know what Are the Are those the same is. thing? I literally, it was, a uh, seafood. Seafood thing. <laughs> The that thing that ate. looks like a shrimp, but in a, but as a disc. I think it's a scallop. You're probably right. It was scallops on a seaweed salad. Um, yeah, the seaweed salad was delicious. Yeah. And I then, didn't know that would be good. I thought that would be, like, shitty. But... No, nah, man. Seaweed's great. Dude. Um, so, yeah, it was scallops on a seaweed salad with, like, uh, spicy mayo and sriracha that you could drag them through, and that yeah. was great. It uh, wasn't, wasn't very big, but it was really good. And I was see. It's one of those things where if we had ordered that at full price, I would have been disappointed. Mm-hmm. But because it was half price, it was great. Yeah, but they know? had like weird, crazy deals every single day. So yeah, that's it true. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a place I could see going back to, but only to like experiment with the yeah. menu. You know, if I can somehow finagle a great eel bowl out of them, I could see <laughs> going there regularly for eel. You know? Yeah. Because I don't know where else to get it. Nowhere else has eel in town. Um, join Digibro's Eel Quest. <laughs> yes. I, I, the funny thing about this is that I'm going into such detail about what we ate, even though this manga that I'm reading, my biggest criticism of it is that it goes into way too much detail about what they eat. Like, each chapter will, like, introduce a character that this woman's going to go to lunch with, and then they go to lunch and, like, she explains like very in-depth explains everything they're eating and how delicious it is and then at the end is like some other detail about the character and the characterization part is by far the most interesting and the constant in-depth details about what they're eating is totally uninteresting to me (laughs) Uh, because i can't like visualize what they're eating like i don't know the food well enough to like you know go oh yeah that is really good yeah you know like most of it's weird shit um, and, like, uniquely Japanese stuff. 
Uh, but I'll save that for Manga Mondays, which this will be on probably oh. at the very end of the month. Oh. Manga. Uh, what else have we done recently? Yesterday we... What did we do yesterday? Yesterday you worked the second half of the day. Yeah. And we uh we slept in till like noon. But we did something. Didn't we go get work. lunch? We got pizzas because we were hungover as fuck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We went to the breakfast the sketch mart. pizza. By the way, is the best hangover food. It's fantastic. Was there something else we did? No. Oh, we watched Princess Principal. Of we course. We watched like two episodes. Yeah. Which we finished today. Yesterday was a waste of a fucking day. <laughs> kind of. Because I came home and I was like fucking tired. Yeah. And I was like, oh, when, I, when I get done and did some homework, that's it. Because yesterday was supposed to be your day off, but you, uh, you but, gave uh, it up for yeah. the months. I mean, money's good, I think. Yeah, money's good. <laughs> it's good to have money. More mo mo money. Yeah, mo I thought money, I well, at problems. the time I thought I was doing the right thing. Little did I realize I had to go back at work at uh, like 7.45 the next day, so... Yeah. I was like, oh, I ran that one, do that. Ran that one through. I mean, I don't regret going to work, because I had an okay day at work. It was just, like, I'd rather have spent the time with you. Because right. I don't, you know, I don't get to spend that much time. But thankfully, the previous two nights, we'd had a great time. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't, get back it wasn't as big a loss as it could have been. Like, if you'd lost your only day off and we hadn't spent time together, mm -hmm. that would have sucked. But, what like, we'd these? literally just spent two nights getting mad high. Yeah. And, like, hanging out all night. Yeah, that's why, like, I, I, you know, I want to think that I was doing the right thing. I want to make yeah. the right choices. Yeah, you're, you're good. Good girl. Yeah, I want to be a good girl. Um, <laughs> so that's what we did those nights. And then before that, I feel like there's something we're missing. Something interesting. We went to the we anime went to Cam stores. We Camera Girl that day. And we got what Italian else did we do? I think day. we talked about that. We talked about that on the show. That was did the last we? episode we recorded, I think. Was it? Yeah, that was over a week ago. So. <laughs> Are you sure? I definitely remember talking about that Italian restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, because I was talking about how you are like a real Italian and shit. And we, that was, yeah, it was the first Hyperlight Drifter episode, because we were talking about how I was, like, emphasizing, oh or the second episode, we, we were telling the story about how Italian pot. I were. literally do not know what happens on what <laughs> days. Uh, it's really, like, it's, my sense of time orientation is, like, fucked all, all up. I, the only concern I have, the only concern I have about the pot we smoke is that in talking about it all the time, I'm going to annoy a certain subset of my fan base who doesn't want to hear me talk about pot. That's the only concern yeah. I have. Because smoking pot's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's awesome, guys. It's really fun. It makes certain videos incredible. Yeah. You know? Like, when you're really high, meme shit is literally the coolest stuff in the world. Like, Frank Jeff C and Needle Drop, uh, or That Is The Plan videos, mm -hmm. rather, um, are both incredible. And I'm sure we'll find more. Yeah. Because we're, we're quickly running out of meme reviews <laughs> and Frank Jeff C videos. So, uh, I gotta find some new... Like, particularly it's compilations that are great. Because it's just, like, non-stop information, you yeah. know? Like, Frank Jeff C's Instagram compilations were just magical. They were pretty great. Um, and, like, it's just that, that sense of never knowing what's going to happen next and then being, like, in utter shock oh, every hey. time. Uh, the Dank meme compilations are usually pretty great. Because mm -hmm. I specifically search Dank memes <laughs> so that it'll be stuff that is relevant to, uh, to being what we're high. On. Yeah, and I'm sure I could get into YouTube poops and like. Oh boy, that's a whole, that's a whole Pandora's box. Yeah. Um, oh boy. YouTube poop music videos. <laughs> There's a whole lot. There's a whole lot to explore. And then, as you're coming down from the high, and you're not as into, like, pure meme shit, then you want to watch a nice Ghibli movie, you know, or something else that's, like, yeah. really dense with information, um, you know, some weird shit. And we haven't even gotten into, like, listening to music high that much, which is great. Mm -hmm. I've done it a few times, and it's been great, and I have a lot of music I want to listen to high. Yeah, me too. You know, like, there's a lot of, uh... I just feel like it's a whole other kind of discovery. 
And I mean, no one should be surprised I'd get that into it because I do the same thing with alcohol. <laughs> like, I talk about alcohol incessantly, and I love alcohol, and I love drinking, and I talk about the benefits of it all the time, especially on the pub crawl. Um, and yeah, now I'm discovering that there's a lot of that for uh, for pot as well. It's a lot of good... It's definitely a different state of mind. Yeah, you know? it, it, it unlocks invites... like a different way of thinking. Yeah, and it it's ma- like a more layered way of thinking. It's like when I'm not high, I want to watch, like, you know, like Princess Principal. We tried to watch an episode high, and immediately we're just like, nope, nope. not the yeah. right show. Like, this is a show I want to have full concentration for because mm-hmm. the the intrigue of that show is like the characterization and like looking at the cute outfits and all that stuff. But like, when you're high, it's all about that visceral, intense visual you know Mm -hmm. like i want to see or hear a lot of things at once i want it to be like blasting into my consciousness (laughs) you know um anyway that's our that's that's uh so do you have any idea what you're doing in this game at the moment i'm just trying to collect things and meet people around town um just kind of mindlessly farming yeah you know what you're supposed to do in the game Getting familiar with uh, where things are. I'm just making sure you're not like lost and bored because no. I can't tell what's happening because I've been talking. <laughs> no, no, man. I'm just like, it Blissed is out. completely. I wouldn't say that. No. I'm more like exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. More like in a. In a would you say you're more chill or more like I just want to go to bed? Mm-hmm. I'm feeling both. Because we can stop this. But uh, we're already at like I an probably hour. want to go to bed soon. All right. I'm just getting like anxiety thinking about like organizing my time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's so many things that like I want to do right. and like I want to work on. But there's so many things that like I need to get done. And then there's so many things that like upkeeping things that. Right. I like. I really should get done, but they always fall to the wayside, and, like, they feel better when they're getting done, but, uh... I mean, I think I'm a bad influence, because I keep dragging you into, like, stuff like this. But this is fun! Right. I, like, I like spending time with you. Like, this, I feel like I'm doing two birds at one stone, because, like, I'm learning a new skill. True. You know, this is an important skill if I'm going to be a person that, like, lives with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you meant uh, fishing in Stardew Valley. Was it? Oh, this is also an important <laughs> skill. Um, this will help me in my career. Yeah. Um, to become a professional video game fisherman. Yes. Um, also, uh, mermaids love to fish. This is true. I'm um, a week coming to uh, just becoming one with my my culture of mer people. Hey, what did you actually mean? You were making a real point. Oh, I just, derailed you with me. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anxiety is the right word for it. It's just, I've gotten, like, I've settled into a, a way of life, and now I'm adding school on top of things. Yeah. And now I'm just like, well, you got time. I gotta prioritize. Yeah. And what are the, what are, if we could make a list of all the things that you want to do. It's too big. I don't think I can accomplish everything I want well, to do let's, in my let's, life. Well, let's start with a list, though. Because, like, yeah. identifying it is the first step. Oh, see, you're not a bad influence on me. You want me to no. list shit? This is good. Yes. This is constructive. All right, so what are all the things that you want to be doing with your time? Me? For, I want to be getting more healthy. Okay, like, so... Like, fitness, we haven't been lifestyle. Fitness and lifestyle are definitely things that, like, I want to get on. Yes. Like... Because you have historically had those things, and you have lost them. That, I wouldn't me. say that's true. I've never really had, like, a healthy diet. You used to run every diet. other day. The thing, yeah, running was a huge part of my routine, and, and I felt better after I'd run. It was kind of, like, therapeutic yeah. for me. Um, it's good It's good for you for the rest of the day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not that I'm not getting a lot of exercise. Like, every day at work, I walk, like, between 8 to, like, 13 miles. Right. Um... And I also, like, am physical. Like, I do physical things a lot. I'm not yep. just sitting around. Yeah. Like, when I'm sitting around, it's usually recorded. You get physical, <laughs> physical. You want to get physical, Word, physical. word. Um, but, yeah, we we have been on this on-again, off-again, not-really-gym routine uh, pretty much the whole time we've been here. Well, yeah, where it's, like, it's... 
once it becomes a routine, it stops. Yeah, like we'll it's go. It's like we'll go twice. for like two weeks straight and then uh, not go. I would say more like two times okay, straight you're right, rather you're than right. two weeks straight. All right, I'm kind of a. Uh, we very rarely I'm fabricating have made it to the gym. some details. I think we've probably been like a total of ten tw- times. Like, we have yes. not had a consistent, and it's just because it's hard. Because like, when is the most appropriate time to do it? You know, because we were trying to do it every other day, but then sometimes every other day falls on a long work day. Yeah, and yeah, that's not convenient. And it's definitely know? like my the fault with my schedule because i don't make my own hours well, i the, try to work as many as possible but i get it's not that it's a weird. fault with your schedule it's a fault with how we're scheduling the gym we shouldn't be doing it every other day no we should be doing it during the days of the week that you don't work long days yeah which we know your school days you only go to school for three hours so we can do it on school days and that takes care of that mm-hmm. you know and then like if you have a, a day off we do it on the day off so that's what I would say could fix the at least the gym routine. Yeah. Um, as for if you wanted to do anything with eating healthier, that would just be us not going to uh, restaurants constantly. But. Like, I, the thing is, like, there's kind of a weird trade off because living with you, I definitely am eating better than I was before. Okay. Um, I, like, I eat whatever the fuck I want. I never really had a serious problem with weight or anything. I've always just been like, oh, well, I'll just be physically fit i like i'm mindful of what i eat i don't eat always just eat junk but i do eat the salad a lot i do eat a lot of junk there's a lot of days that we'll go to like a restaurant that is explicitly not meant to be a healthy option place and you get a salad and i'm always looking at you like really but then you're like and then i'm like wait she's making the right choice i'm the one who's constantly like i never do that you know, yeah. like, unless we go to Panera Bread. Even then, I usually get macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Uh, but, like, we'll... <laughs> which isn't even bread. We'll go to, like, like Wimpy's, which is, like, known as, like... It's a burger place. They just have a massive burger menu. You can get fucking anything. Yeah, you can get, like, anything there and none of it's healthy. A lot of the and places at Rochester get, like, are like yeah. that. It's just, like, a smorgasbord this, of, yeah, like, greasy food. Rochester food is, is yeah. fat It's food. like the Pittsburgh of New York. Yeah. Um, it's kind of even worse than... You think so? Well, wait, Pittsburgh? Never mind. Pittsburgh is bad. I was thinking of a... Philly or something? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Pittsburgh is, like, notorious for a yeah, heart got, attack like, and crazy. obesity and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the, what, was, what the fuck were we talking about? Yeah, um, so that's one thing you want to do is get more yeah. physically fit. Yeah, it's, it's more of just, like, I won't... Like, I want to have a even better body, I yeah. guess. Like, it's all for aesthetic purposes. Like, I'm right. perfectly healthy. I'm, like, ideal weight for my height and stuff. But... We, we both, I think, are in a state where we both look really good and like the way the other person looks, but we want to be just that extra edge better. I want to be the best version of me I possibly can. Yeah. And um, since we're both incredibly vain people... That includes looks, you know. Oh, it's like, mostly including looks because yeah. I'm already a superior human to like ninety percent <laughs> of the population. Yeah, uh, it's I can't convince myself I need to be a better person. I can only convince myself I need to be better looking. Yeah, you know, I can't change genetics and stuff, but I can uh, change my choices. And... Yeah. Uh, so what else is on your list of things you need to add to your life? Uh, making a little bit more time for school because I have like two really big. Assignments due next Tuesday, I believe. Which it still gives me a ton of time to work on them. It's just I want to get them done before it becomes like concerning. Okay. I'm a chronic procrastinator. Assign yourself uh, not allowed to fuck till you work. Basically, basically punish myself like that. Yeah. But uh, the one thing I told myself was I was just gonna stay at school when I had assignments due and just yeah. get them done at school. But the thing is, like, there's never any space to, like, do the work at school. Like, you have to show up to the library mad early to ensure getting access to a computer. And all of the assignments are, like, they're papers you gotta type and stuff. And I don't like lugging my laptop around because it's a fucking ancient piece of it's crap. It's a big-ass, old uh, ass. And it's slow. It's slow as fuck. Like, I need a new laptop, but I don't have the money to, to do that right now. Because right. a car is probably... 
more to what I'm saving towards. <laughs> like, the laptop can wait. Uh, I mean, if you just want to get, like, a lightweight laptop, you can do that for, like, $300, $400. I don't have $300 or $400. And you spent that on, like, makeup and clothes the other day. Yes, because I need that to... <laughs> you don't understand, like... Psychological yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand. I hadn't I, spent any I money on myself for a while. Like, I, I try... There are certain things that I need to spend on. I have expensive yeah. taste. Uh, I'm like, that's part of my identity is like fashion and makeup. And I stuff. require eating out every day to sustain my morale. Yeah, you know? like, you know, I feel more confident when I'm like wearing new things, yeah. and I like like what I'm. It just makes me feel better. Right. And I don't know like if that's really the most healthy way to look at things, but uh, that's how I get through the day to day. Yeah, <laughs> I know the feel, brother. It's just something like I'm enthusiastic about, and like when I have an outfit I'm excited to wear, I uh, have a better day usually. Yeah. Um. Um. So okay, physical fitness. You need to work on your school work better. I, well, I feel like I don't have like a serious. It's not like a serious problem. I just right. want to get in the habit of making better habits and. What else? Doing the best I possibly can. What else have we got? What else? Um. I want to spend time with you and like that's really important is like building a right. good relationship with someone that you're planning on spending your future with and uh I think we do a really do, good job of that. Yeah, I put <laughs> a lot of my eggs in that basket. Yeah. Uh, probably more than like is recommended. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, that's where well, it's a, it's a difficult push and pull because what would you like it seems as though you would not rather be doing anything else. No, all the stuff that I that I want to get in order is stuff that like I would rather spend time with you before I do right. that. Like, and so like yeah, I've kind of seen it as we are still in a stage of our relationship where it's constantly exciting to be around each other, mm -hmm. and that maybe we'll eventually like not need to spend as much time together as we do, you know? Yeah. Um, just because there'll be other things we want to get done, you know? Like, if you told me... I mean, this happens already. If you tell me, like, hey, I'm gonna play Pokemon or something, then it's like, I go and do something else. Yeah, like, like, there are things that we can... Like, it's not ever, like, we need to be spending time with each other or, like, the right. other person's feeling is getting hurt. Yeah, It's no. just... I think we're both pretty much on the page of, we're, like, yeah. I get, like, if you need time, you go ahead. Like, I, we are getting more than enough of each other, but <laughs> that does not mean that we don't want more, you yeah. know? Like, our base, like, if I really needed alone time for something, like, I needed to work on a video or just I wanted to watch a show or play a video game, I'll tell you, like, hey, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna like, go should play I have to game, get done you know, or like, should I want to do? But typically I get all of the stuff I want to do without you done when you're not here. Yeah. So, like, but that's, that's where I kind of, that's why I'm interested in, like, trying to help you to organize it better. Because I feel like it's almost that's unfair fine. that I have a clear-cut time where I can do that shit. Like, when you're not home, I get done... Anything I would want to do without you, which is not just work, but I'm, also like I can't get off this screen. Uh, hit that X button at the top. I, go. I just had to throw something out, I guess, in my. Um, I don't know. Maybe you were full or something. Maybe you're at capacity. Sure, I'm just gonna. We're gonna go with that. Uh, Even though I had opened the menu, and as soon as I opened it, it made me throw something out. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel the same way, like. But I know that if I needed the extra time, I could just spend it at school or I can, like... Right. It, it's... You don't have to feel bad about that. Well, it's just that, like, it sucks that I can make that time happen because my schedule is so flexible. That I can be like, oh, uh, you know, May's at work and I don't have to do my job right now, so I'm going to listen to the dig show and play video games for four hours. Yeah. And uh, your work is like, I have to be at work for eight hours, you know? And then, like, if you're home, um, you want to spend your time with me. So then it's like there is no time for the other stuff, you know? Because mm -hmm. your work just doesn't leave you that leeway. 
that mine does. Yeah. But then I guess that's normal. <laughs> like that's like it's just that I have an incredibly lucky position, and you've got a relatively normal position. That I feel most like people have. it would be completely different if work fulfilled something else other than just being a paycheck. Like people right. I work with have friends at work, or they like get something out of working oh there. My besides, God, that girl's I know they they have something like get they're getting out of it. Like either they love working there, or they're building relationships, or. There's some reason why they've decided to stay at Target for so long. For me, it's literally like I only see this as a paycheck. Like I don't have relationships with the people I work with, uh-huh. and I like for some people that's like a social thing. Like they don't have to go out because they're at work and they're talking to their buddies at work, you know. Right. But it's like, well, I'm not spending time with you, so this isn't fulfilling any of my social needs. This isn't like fulfilling any of my like. Any any need I have, like any psychological need, it's not fulfilling. It's taking away from because it needs to unwind after work. Right. Um, yeah, I, I'm like, I'm working a shit job and I hate it. And it's that in itself is like, it's a pressure. It's a pressure, you know. Yeah. Um, not that I hate my job and like that I, I don't want to work there anymore. It's just. I think that you get way more out of your job than I do. Yeah. For, and for jobs, sure, that's kind of obvious. I get a lot more out of it, and it's a lot easier because I get yeah. to schedule you get my to, hours. You get to make and, your own hours and stuff. Yeah. And, and I can kind of work us hanging out into becoming my job. Yeah. Like, Which what is we're awesome. doing literally right now is just having a heartfelt conversation that happens to also be yeah, a public just, recording. Yeah, you guys are just in on this because we were just, uh, just we are yeah. just talking right now. Well, that's my favorite. The, the reason I like doing Digi and May so often is that it gives us an opportunity to, like, kind of forces us to just have a conversation. Yeah. Um, which, Everybody like, we, should just record their day to day conversation. And yeah, make well, that, it like, I mean, you and I <laughs> talk all the time. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, like, it's not like this is something we don't do, but it kind of forces us to, I don't know, think of things in a different way mm-hmm. um, that I think is interesting. Yeah, it's definitely. Like, it's like a side of. A side of each of us that we wouldn't normally bring out all the time. You know, like, sometimes we have conversations that are Digi and May-esque in real life. Um, I think there was some conversation we had the other day where, like, I had, like, I suddenly realized we weren't doing a podcast. Yeah. Because it felt like it so much. But, um, but, like, you know. That's a really interesting point. Like, Amanda and Conrad conversations are different than Digi and May conversations. Yes. Like, on average, the stuff that you and I talk, it, it's just, like, a lot of lovey-dovey talk and, like, a lot of, uh, you know, hanging around, like, just, just shooting the We're, shit about, like, yeah. normal stuff. Whereas when we're on this show, we try to, like, come at it from a different, like, a deeper angle. Like, mm-hmm. analyze why we're thinking the things we're thinking as opposed to just stating them, you know? Yeah. And, uh... I don't know. I'm just interested in getting to talk to people in that context. Like, not just you, but anybody. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, I, feel I the love same having way. those kinds of in depth conversations and, like, forcing people into them. Which is why me and Victor love doing Digibros so much. Was that, yeah, like, because when you're in this situation, it kind of yeah. forces you to take that perspective. Right. And I mean, me and him, like, hung out and talked all the time. But, like, on the show, it was, like, you know. Yeah, we had to look at it more deeply. And, I mean, we had plenty of conversations that could have been on the podcast that weren't, you know, but, like, and you and I do as well. But Mm -hmm. I just think it's a fun way to make sure that we get to spend, like, an hour and a half just having in-depth discussions, especially about the things we've done, because it kind of solidifies the memory in a way. You know, it's like... We, we just went to that sushi place, and, like, we experienced that, but then, like, describing it brings out an extra flavor to it. Like, yeah. Because the version you'll remember isn't what actually happened, it's what you described. And so you can add in, like, the little, the little color to it, you know, like, uh, or, like, create a logical through line, like... Uh, I knew the whole time we were going there because I, I wanted to try eel, you know, but like I've emphasized that to the point that that becomes the point of the story, mm-hmm. you know, as opposed to just we went out to eat because we were hungry like normal people do. Um, you know, instead, it's that the quest to find eel in yeah, Rochester, yeah. you know, and so it just adds that little bit of like oomph to uh, to the stuff. 
and I like being able to like recapture the memories that way. You yeah, know? I do too. Um, and especially, and, and the funny thing about it too is that I feel like I've been doing that more retroactively on this show than I used to, which is very healthy for me. And to explain to you what I mean, you have helped me to get out of a bad habit of never living in the moment. Um, you've helped me with this yeah. because Victor, as, as Victor had put it, um, sort of, I, I don't know if this was famously, but it's famous to me cause I repeated it like eight times on the show mm -hmm. that Victor said, I seem to experience my life as though it's happening to someone else. Like it's a show I'm watching because I will describe the way I acted in a situation yeah. as though I'm describing a funny character, you know, and he'll be like, you know, that was you. Like, that wasn't just some guy who showed up in a bathrobe looking like a slob. It was you who did that, you know? But I'll talk about it like it's some funny thing I saw on a show. Mm -hmm. And, like, it used to be that most of my experiences, I think of them, like, as they're happening, I'm thinking about how it will become a podcast. How it will, how I'll tell it to people, you know? Like, yeah. I used to have this habit of, um, like, writing a constant autobiography in my head. Like, everything I would do, I would think about how I would write it out. Like, how I'd write the opening sentence of explaining it. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a big problem because it meant that I always am thinking ahead and never about what's actually happening, you know? I'm never just, like, calming down and thinking about what's happening. And when we first met, um, it was a really interesting thing because you were talking a lot. Like, you are a very live-in-the-moment kind of person. Yeah. At least you were, you were saying that a lot. You were like, I don't mind... Like, where this goes, I just want, like, as, like, I'm happy right now, and that's what matters, you know? Yeah. Whereas, when we first met, all I was thinking about was, like, so if I end up liking her, what are we going to do? You know? Oh, are we going to move in together? Like, how are we going to organize it? How are we going to make it happen? And then it wasn't until we were finally living together, and everything was in place, and we knew for a fact that we weren't leaving until next May, that I was finally able to just relax and, like, experience it all as it happens, mm -hmm. you know? And then it's only when we sit down to podcast about it that I look back on what we did and go, like, I guess that was a funny story, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, I wasn't thinking about podcasting about the fucking eel <laughs> until we left the place. I thought about it as we were leaving because yeah. I knew we were planning to do a uh, Digi Bros or Digi May. Um, so, yeah, like... But otherwise, I wasn't thinking about it. So I feel like I've evolved as a person thanks to being with you. That makes me really happy because I feel the same way but for an opposite reason. Because I'm all like the opposite where I do live in the moment and I don't really think about the consequences of what I'm doing as much. Um, yeah. Like I failed out of college because uh, I was too busy living in the moment and trying yeah. to like experience things that I could only experience while at college. Um, and yeah, it was more about just the instant gratification, like, uh, you were, like, this nagging thought in my mind, and I just wanted it to go away, and I wanted to meet you, and, like, to say that I had this experience, and I wasn't really thinking about, like, oh, what is next year gonna be like? Oh, like, yeah. is there any possible way I could have a relationship with this guy? It was more of, like, this is what I want right now, and, like... Being with you and, like, actually making a plan and not having to be, like, worried about just running away from things is, a. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I've matured a whole lot in the past, like, couple two, of a couple of months. Like, yeah. I got my driver's license. I got this promotion at work that I've been working for for a while. I'm uh, doing pretty well in school. I've moved out of my uh, shitty living situation, which isn't that shitty, but I just, like... It was fairly shitty. Yeah, I didn't have enough, like, room to be able to like you literally didn't have a room yeah just lived in the middle of the house yeah. um and i was in a relationship that like just for the sake of being in a relationship i guess like yeah. it wasn't satisfying to me but the other guys seemed happy and i don't yeah. know so i think that definitely being with you has helped helped me a lot too and i'm happy that you feel the same way even if it's for the opposite reason yeah well, it's funny because I still have shades of it, as I'm sure you've noticed, that, like, I'm always bringing up, like, where we're going to move into Atlanta, which is not till May. So but there's I mean, no reason to think about it yet, you know. That's, but like, That's not true. That's, that's not that far away. Like, yeah, I think we have a good far. dynamic about, yeah. like, 
like I see things more of isn't in the moment generally, and you're more of the planner, and I think that yeah. works well with the two of us. Yeah, uh, it does work well, but I'm the one who's always bringing up like, like when are we getting married? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've probably mentioned marriage more times than any other man has ever mentioned to a woman before. <laughs> Dude, what's that treasure chest? Can you get... Do you want the fish to get that, or do you want to get that? I don't that? know, dude. I think... Hold on to the treasure chest instead of the fish. Yeah. Not too late. It was in the the first time where I actually successfully was able to get the fish. I see. It was in that one, too. I think I'm... Like, the first time I caught the fish, there was no way I could fail out of it. Like, as soon as I caught my first fish, it's like, oh, you, their training wheels are off. Uh-huh. And... I realized that, like, it was more complex than I was thinking it was before. Right. I just want to fucking catch a fish again. I just want to feel like a real man. <laughs> a real mermaid. A real mermaid. Eating fish. Uh, well. That got really deep. Yeah. I feel happy. I'm glad. I'm glad you came away from that feeling happy. You're just like, what the fuck am I doing? There were, there were parts where it seemed like it could end in existential dread. Yeah. But I'm glad it ended in happy. Um, we should probably stop playing this now. This has been an hour and a half. Yeah, you're and... starting to feel exhausted. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. You can yep. say that again. All right, everybody. Nice. See you next time on Digi and May do Stardew Valley. Ciao. Um, which I don't know if you'll play in between shows at all, or just it'll just be, you'll just watch the whole thing. I probably. don't know. I'll probably play some more without trying to like think. Yeah. So I can figure out what the fuck kind of direction yeah. I want to take, like That's how I want to build my farm and stuff. Usually, the reason I try to play off screen a little bit is just to like gain enough bearings to understand, like with, with Wario World, where it was like yeah. I would go back and play through what I just did and go, oh, that's how the game this works. This game is like you know? Terraria mixed with uh, Harvest Moon, and it's interesting. Yeah. So, there's definitely like a lot of directions that, you know, I could take. I obviously can't be good at everything. Yeah. I feel like it's the same problem in real life. Like I have all these things I want to be good at, all these That's like, hobbies. That's why this game terrifies me and why I've never played Harvest Moon. Yeah. Because I'm too afraid of the time thing. Like yeah. trying to manage your time is terrifying. Uh, have a hard enough time, both of us have a hard enough time doing it in real life. What do you know? The, this is a Kassam Kunzwerk because the video <laughs> game represents the conversation. Anyway, next time on DGMA. Oh! Maybe Digi will be a mermaid. <laughs>